And my name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, only I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. I go to school in room nine. Room nine is where they have afternoon kindergarten. Also, they have morning kindergarten, only I'm not familiar with that arrangement. My <laughs> teacher's name is Mrs. There's another name, too, but I just like Mrs., and that's all. <laughs> Mrs. told us that we were going to have a special day in room nine. It's called Valentine's Day, and it's where all of the children in the class send cards with happy wishes to each other. Junie B. Jones and the Mushy Gushy Valentine by Barbara Park. Ooh, teacher, I love getting cards. I especially love getting the kind of cards with money in them. Money is my favorite kind of mail. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Junie B, but there won't be any money at all Valentine's. We'll just be sending happy wishes to each other. It'll still be lots of fun, and on the day of our party, all of the valentines will go in a big box, and I will personally deliver each of the cards to you. Just then, I jumped right out of my chair, because no one had even mentioned a party before. Hooray for parties! Can we have red licorice and cheese popcorn, teacher? Oh, plus also peanut butter cups and melted milk balls, and red licorice and gummy bears! Maybe you should be writing this down. <laughs> now, we will have cupcakes and punch candy hearts. Just then, I sat down very disappointed, because not much thought had gone into that menu, that's why. <laughs> what kind of punch, teacher? Will it have fresh raspberries and strawberries floating in it? Because my Nana's caterer always puts fresh raspberries and strawberries in our punch, and it is delicious. And what about an activity? Ballroom dancing, because I am taking ballroom dancing at my very expensive dancing school, and so I would be happy to teach the other kids who are cheaper than me. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, Junini, but I don't think we'll have any ballroom dancing. Then what about a puppet show? Or, or maybe we could hire a magician. Or, or what about a wild animal act, like a, wild, like a grizzly bear or a sea lion? Just then, a boy named Polly Allen Pumper ran to the front of the room and started jumping around all over the place. No, wait, I got him. We could hire some chainsaw jugglers. Because who doesn't love chainsaw jugglers? I looked at Mrs. Her head was on the desk, and her eyes were staring out the door. Just then, all us kids in room nine got real quiet. Because Mrs. was scaring us a little bit. This <laughs> also <laughs> After that, everyone sat down in their chair because Mrs. said it was time to decorate the Valentine's box. And wow, we that thing could hold a million bajillion Valentine's cards. Stop saying Valentine's, Junie B. Who said so? Uh, I said so. Didn't you just hear my voice? The word is Valentine. It has an N in it. Well, this is a free country, and so I can say Valentine if I want to. And I will not even go to jail. <laughs> I didn't say you would go to jail. I just said I wish you would say the word correctly. That's all. Well, we don't always get what we wish for, do we? No. I wish the word Valentine had an M in it, but it doesn't, does it? No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is called a victory skip. <laughs> Mrs. gave each of us students a piece of pink paper and scissors and told us to cut out hearts to paste on the side of the Valentine's box. I cut my fastest. Look, teacher, I already have one heart cut out, so I have the fastest scissors in room nine, probably. But just then, the boy next to me named Mimi Jim jumped up and said, No, Junie B, look, I have two hearts cut out, see? One and two, so how about on you? That's how come I got frustration inside of me. I took my paper and my scissors, then I cut out another heart as fast as I could, but it only turned out in scribble scraps. Darn it, Jim, look what you made me do! <sighs> Just then, a big hand swooped it over my head and snatched the scissors right out of my hands. I did a gulp. <laughs> it was Mrs. I was afraid it was you. <laughs> then she went over to Meanie Jim's table, too, and took his scissors. <sighs> Both of us had to sit in our chairs for the rest of the day, because our cutting days were over, that's why. The Valentine's box turned out real beautiful. And afterwards, Mrs. gave each of us children a list with all of the names of the, of the students in room nine, and said, now class, on the day of our party, each of you will bring in a valentine for each of the students on the list. That will be 17 valentines in all. 
Okay, so I know I have to bring a valentine for each of the kids in the class, but do I really have to bring in a valentine for everyone? Because what if there's a boy or girl that I don't really like? Yes, Julie, you will bring in a valentine for everyone in room nine. Valentine's Day is a day of friendship for everyone. Okay, so I know I have to bring a valentine in for everyone, but do I really have to bring in a valentine for the big, fat, stinky heads? Yes, Julie B. For the last time, you will bring in a valentine for all of the children in room now, even the big, fat, stinky heads. <laughs> Just then, all the kids in room nine got real quiet and looked at teacher, because teachers are not supposed to say big, fat, stinky heads. Like that. <laughs> After that, Mrs. walked over to her desk and sat down for a real long time. Then she stood up and went over to the sink and she took some aspirin. <laughs> when I got home with my list, mother <laughs> helped me pick out a valentine for each of the children in my class. I would pick out a valentine and she would cross a name off of the list. Finally, there was only one name left. Mimi Jim. Hmm. That one. I will send that one to Mimi Jim. Oh, uh, Junie B, I don't know if a picture of a skunk is a really nice idea. Perfect, because neither is Jim. <laughs> On the day of our party, I skipped all around the room, because I was a treat for the eyes, I tell you. Mrs. had us sit down in her chair, and she put on an apron with a big heart pocket in the front. She went over to the box and filled it with Valentine's cards, and then passed them out to all of the students in the class. Before I opened mine, I counted them. I did a frown. <clears throat> I counted them again. Sixteen. All right, people. Who didn't give me a Valentine card? And don't even try to deny it, because I'm supposed to have seventeen cards in my pile, and I only have sixteen. Was it you, Mister? Or maybe it was you, Mister Polly Allen Puffer? Or maybe? <laughs> Just then, Mrs. swooped me off my chair and plucked me on the ground and said, Junie B, please don't stand in your chair. And whatever you do, don't shout! If someone didn't give you a Valentine card, I'm sure it was just an accident. No one would do something like that on purpose. Mrs. is a nice teacher, but sometimes she doesn't understand children at all. <laughs> Junie B. Guess what I found in the bottom of the box? Guessing games are my favorite. Mm, a meatball! You know, why would I find a meatball? None of people have been putting in the box all week. Valentine's cards. Right, so what do you think I found? This time I thought my hardest. Mm, a meatball! <laughs> no, Judy, I found this. This big card with your name on it. Hey, wait a second here. Maybe this could be my missing Valentine. Bingo. Yes! Bingo, bingo, bingo! <laughs> it was the most beautiful card I had ever seen. It had purple ribbon all around the edges and a big heart right on the front. It was a mushy-gushy kind of valentine. And it was signed from your secret admirer. Hmm. I think and think for a long time. Pretty soon, the bell rang for recess, and I ran like a split out to the park. Stopped, because I had left that beautiful thing back in room nine. I ran as fast as I could back to room nine and paused, and guess what I saw? Mimi Jim with his hands all over my Valentine. I ran over that boy and pulled that card right out of his mitts. What do you think you're doing, mister? No, don't get that card outside. It'll get dirt on it. That card costed me a whole month's allowance. You bought this card for me, Jim? Since when did you buy this card for me? Is this some sort of mini boy trick? No, uh, no, I didn't buy that card. It, it just looks like it cost a lot of money. Something smelled like fish here. <laughs> if you didn't buy this card for me, Jim, then why are your words so stuttering and sputterish? And why is your face so reddish and blotchish? <laughs> My head is as sharp as a tack. <laughs> Dang it! I knew you'd find out. No, everyone will know that I like you. You like me, Jim? Since when did you like me? Because you never acted like you liked me. 
So since when did you like me is what I would like to know. <laughs> I've always liked you. I just don't act like I like you, so nobody will know that I do. Huh? Hey, Jim, you want to go tell Mrs. that we're friends now? Because she will get a kick out of this, probably. <laughs> but just then, Jim plopped down on the floor, and he wouldn't even budge. Okay, Jim, this doesn't actually seem like that good of a start for us. <laughs> but I can't tell Mrs. I can't tell anybody. It'll ruin everything. Only just then, too bad for us, because we heard a noise at the door, and it was Mrs. What are you doing in here? You're supposed to be out on the playground. Go on out there. Oh, it was just a we and a... Excuse me, Mrs. While we go out to the playground now. We were just in here cleaning up. Excuse us while we get by. <laughs> Thank you for not telling my secret, Jimmy P. Thank you for my mushy-gushy valentine. <laughs> <laughs>